Hi, I'm Jerry McCarr, and in this video, I will show you how to create, build, and run a One API sample in Eclipse using the Intel One API Base Toolkit. For this demo, I have the Beta 5 version of One API Base Toolkit integrated with Eclipse IDE for C, C++ Developers 2019-03 on Ubuntu 18.04. It is important to note that Eclipse integration occurs during installation of the One API Base Toolkit. Make sure you have the right Eclipse version and launch that Eclipse for development. Before you begin the workflow, make sure you configure your system for CPU, GPU, or FPGA development by following this document. With this background and context out of the way, let's dive into the workflow. The tools in the One API toolkits are configured via environment variables. Before you begin your development, set up your Eclipse environment by sourcing the setvars script. You can find the setvars.sh script in the root folder of your One API installation, which is typically opt slash intel slash intel one API when installed as root, or home dash directory slash intel slash intel one API when not installed as root. If you customize the installation folder, the setvar script will be in your custom folder. To source the setvar script, open a new terminal session, typically a bash shell command window, and change the directory to the root of your one API installation. Next, source the top-level setvars.sh script that is found here. Remember to source this script every time you open a new terminal window. From the same terminal session, navigate to your Eclipse installation directory and launch Eclipse. Create a new Eclipse workspace. You can see that the Intel menu is now integrated in the Eclipse toolbar. From the Intel menu, select Browse Intel One API Samples. This launches the samples browser. Expand the Get Started category and select the Vector Add sample from this list. You can edit the default project name and project location if you like, and then click Finish. The Vector Add sample is now created and launches its README file in the editor. Please give a couple of seconds for the indexer to finish. The Vector Add is a simple program that adds two large vectors of integers and verifies the results. In this example, you can learn how to use the most basic code in C++ language that offloads computations to a GPU or an FPGA using the DPC++ language. The basic DPC++ implementation explained in the code includes device selector, buffer, accessor, kernel, and command groups. If successful, the name of the offload device and a success message are displayed, and your development environment is set up correctly. Moving on, to build this sample, Select the sample from the Project Explorer, right-click, and select Build Project. You can verify if your build completed successfully in the CDT Build Console output. Finally, to run the sample locally, select the sample from the Project Explorer, right-click, choose Run as Local C, C++ Application. Please refer to our Getting Started Guide and download the Intel One API-based toolkit from the link provided. Thanks for watching.